Welcome to Riding Along. Today is going to be Riding for Uncertainty, which is in and of itself kind of a vague title, right? But if you clicked it, you might have had some meaning you attached to it, which is exactly what I want to prescribe and offer you. When you're in a period of uncertainty in your life, writing will essentially give you a clear sense of direction. It'll give you a place. It'll give you a purpose that someone else didn't have to give to you. No one sold it to you. All right. You didn't have to uh, go searching for it. It's not dependent on this person, even if someone else existing. Okay. It's yourself. You're taking control and uncertainty isn't just rooted in a lack of control. In fact, you might have a complete picture. You're uh, all right. Driving a ship or something. Driving a ship. You can tell I've never actually helmed one. A vessel, some people call it, right? Um, and you don't have no idea what to do. But guess what? You're you're the captain. You have all the resources available to you. You have people, other resources. But you don't know how to utilize it. You don't know how to utilize them or how to communicate with them. Uh, same thing with writing. You can take the training wheels approach. But you're not really going to get far. You're not really going to keep up with the rest of the race or you're not going to get forget the race let's say you don't care you're not chasing fame and maybe more than just having a fancy uh, endorsement reaching and touching people's lives matters a little more there's nothing wrong with that at all so you say forget the race but you're still not going to get where you want to go you're on training wheels. You're not going to get there fast enough. You're not going to make it. You don't have enough time in your life to just play around with that. And you might realize one day it's much too late. <laughs> By much too late, I don't mean um, a certain age. I mean, you could be 70 right now. You can be 100. And guess what? You can start right now. The moment it's too late is when you stop breathing. And yeah, it's kind of morbid, but I mean, it's uncertainty itself by its nature is just kind of like that. You don't really know what to expect. And it's scary. It's There's not really any guides that you can always follow. So I'm challenging you right now. Start writing for uncertainty and you'll find writing isn't the center okay writing isn't everything writing along but it's just the thing it's coming along with you it's coming along with your life you might just call yourself a writer but there's a little more to you isn't there now, that's something a lot of people feel when they start. It's something I definitely felt when I started too. Like, I want to be, I want to do it, but I don't just want to be David the writer. It's just like I've, I've siloed myself in somewhere and I, I can't escape from that. Again, it's a component of your life, it's an aspect of your life. And guess what? Writing actually isn't the hardest thing you'll ever do. It is. I can't tell you what the hardest thing will be for you. Not in this video. That's not my objective right now. We can talk about that for an hour, but hour, a lifetime. And I say that to have a little less fear about writing. Writing is kind of the guidebook. It's the toolkit. It's the, the map. It's the exploratory guide. It's going to show you where to go. It's going to give you a sense of peace knowing, oh, this is the manual. And I'm writing it. Now those two things don't really directly correlate, right? And they create this gap. I'm writing a manual to learn how to do something. Notice what happens there. I'm just saying words, all right? I'm just combining sounds. And I'm pushing them together. And they created something in your mind. So notice between there, 
there's a space. In that space is what you're going to be doing with writing. When you're there, when you create that, your brain reacts to it. Your mind reacts to it. It knows what it is. Your eyes might not really see it. Your ears might not really hear it. But something's moving in there. You know that feeling of learning? You know that invigorating feeling when you're figuring something out? That's what you're going to be feeling when you do this, when you start writing. That's what you might be feeling right now a little bit of. Not to the degree that you would when you're actually there at the page, but already some things are turning in there. And no, you're not the universal symbol. You're not crazy. There's something going on. And you don't have to always understand it. You don't have to know the cognitive meta science of it at all. You just have to know it's real. You have to know it exists. You have to know it's relevant. And you have to know that your life is full of uncertainty. There are many ways to find your sense of self, direction, purpose. I don't knock things. I mean, coming from a pretty positive place here, you, it might be something else. If you're not a writer, and maybe you like something else. Maybe you like dancing. Maybe you like uh, sports, right? It's not, they're not in opposition to each other. It's not one is more noble than the other at all. Depends what you're trying to do. Depends what you need for yourself. And as a writer, we're creating something that exists outside of ourselves in a very physical and perceptive way. To the point where you write a book and you can see it in front of you. That kind of thing. You're playing a sport. You're expressing the capability and your physical prowess, what you're capable of. And if you're being watched, if other people are seeing that too, guess what? They're being, you're making impressions on them. Into their minds, they're like, wow, this person did that. This person's capable of that. That took a lot of work to get there. Oh, they just, you know, beat this team. Like, that shows something, that tells me something. Like, that. man, they really believed and were capable, and they pre they were coordinated, and they got something done. And the audience reacts, and they live with that the rest of their life. So they watch the legendary sports. If you don't like sports, I'd skip ahead if you want. But if you have an open mind, listen. All right. If you watch the legendary game, and all those people watching are affected, some more than others, they're gonna live their lives a little differently. They're not maybe actively thinking about why, but, and they're going to uh, raise kids with that same kind of attitude, with those same things they, they learned and they felt, and they're going to pass on certain values, certain virtues, certain ideas, and ideals and beliefs. Yeah, because someone threw a ball in a hoop. You know, yeah, it doesn't, it's a different form. Okay, I want you to see that they're not very different. comparison you're not going to hear every day, but I really want you to see how similar a lot of these things are. A book people are reading you, guess what? You make impressions on them too. It affects the way they live. What books have you read that have affected the way that you think today? Let me know. Comment below right now. If you're watching, if you're listening on the podcast, um, check out the reviews. I, I think Apple Podcasts really is where the comments really get seen. I mean, if you're on Google Play, leave them there too, but Apple Podcasts, if you, have, if you know someone with an iPhone, leave a review and tell me what books have affected you. How have they changed the way you see things? It could be the little prince, you know, it doesn't have to be war and peace or something. It doesn't even have to be a book, it could just be a poem you read or a note someone wrote you, you know, something that just stuck with you. And that's what writing is. It's a, another form of that. It's this sense of creating and brewing stuff with words. That's all it is.
all right is. Well, it must be deeper, right? Maybe not. Maybe you're overcomplicating it. Maybe you're struggling to write. Because you're making it more difficult than it really needs to be. When really the answer's right in front of you. It's right inside your answer. You already know. You're just remembering what you don't know. Kind of internalizing it. Maybe sometimes you just need to really internalize something in you. To know that writing is just creating impression. It's not the be all end all of life. It's not the one art, you know. It's just an art. And an art isn't just a watercolor painting, you know, that a kid makes. It's, <laughs> it's not just something people do just for, eh, just for whatever, you know, like, here's my art, I guess, you know, like, without enthusiasm. No, it's something that invigorates you. It's something that you feel like. So deep within you, and it's kind of undeniable. All right, it's it's one of those things that you get excited about, and no one can ever take that excitement away from you. And again, it's that sense of control I'm talking about. You don't control what writing is, but when you take part in it, you kind of feel it for yourself in your own life, and it unlocks something in you. It's a little more of an effect that you might have expected from just putting a couple of sentences on a page. But this kind of stuff is what's going to keep you for the long haul. It's, going to, it's what's going to allow you to really say something powerful, something impactful, something that stays, something that lives on. Your book, your short stories, your poems, anything you write at all. Messages you send people, you know, whatever you write. It's not something that you just Focus everything on, okay? You're more dynamic, and there's a lot more to you. And when you realize that you, know, you want to be a writer, remember, it's not, that's not all you are. And when you do that, there's so much pressure. Because guess what? When you don't have inspiration, who are you then? If you're a writer, you don't feel like writing, who are you? You're nothing. It's a very unstable thing to found yourself on. Remember, you're writing along with your life. It's coming along the journey. It's coming along the path there. The journey's over. You just put the path away. And you're creating it as you go. And through the uncertainty, writing makes it a little easier. Kind of gives you a sense of certainty as you're heading there. Alright, I'll see you in the next episode.